folks, John with Ozarks Backroads with you today. We're in the shop with the, the FJR. It's reached its first uh, service interval. Uh, the first service was due at 600. I've actually got about a thousand miles on it right now, but we're going to go ahead and change the oil and we're preparing to head out west with the bike for a trip. So I'm going to go ahead today and pull the fairings off of it, check the throttle body sink, check all the hoses, make sure all the clamps are tight, look for any leaks or anything that doesn't look right. Uh, have a look at the spark plugs, make sure they look like they're burning correctly. And we'll get the oil changed and then we'll change the rear differential grease and uh, our oil in the rear differential. And we'll be ready to head out west. So stick around, we'll see how this works out. Now I can pull that back and the oil won't, dry, won't run down inside the fairing here. There she goes. Pretty clean looking oil. Boy, he man put that on there. I like to pre-fill my oil filters. I've got this one. It's about half full after it's set a little bit. I can't fill it all the way up or it'll just dump out when I go to put it on, but half full I can get it on there without making much of a mess. At least it'll be half full of oil when I start the motor and not plumb empty so it won't take as long for the oil pressure to come up. If you're quick about it, it won't, you won't lose much, if any. I don't think I lost any there. But I was walking around the front of this uh, bike and I just happened to look down at this axle and I, there's a washer in here that was crooked and I thought well that didn't look right so let's zoom in on it here I'll see if I can get this this is the axle on the right side of the front wheel and if you look right here this washer's loose in here it's just sitting on the axle so what the hell? That ain't that ain't supposed to be that way. That washer's it. They don't just throw parts in there to sit around, you know. The parts are supposed to be doing something. Well, that's not doing anything. So uh, we'll have to pull this axle out in this front wheel and try to figure out um, where that washer's supposed to go. And uh, look it all over. Make sure the rest of it's put together right. So anyhow. Look your rigs over, make sure they're perfect. Uh, your life may depend on it. Well, here's what I found. I got the axle out of it, out of the fork here. And uh, this is the spacer that goes in the seal right here. And they've put this washer, they just set it on here and then stuck it in here. <laughs> I did notice when I loosened up the pinch bolts on the axle, that my fork sprung apart so they were pulled together they had side load on them they were pinched together uh, and they sprung apart when I loosened it so that's not right either that's going to put wear up here on the bushings in the fork leg uh, where the, where the uh, tube runs up and down in the fork leg that'll put wear on those bushings if you have side load on your forks so I'm glad I found that before I took off on a big trip so we'll go figure, see if we can figure out where this washer is supposed to go and uh, see if we can put this together like it's supposed to be. Done a little uh, investigation, uh, digging through the uh, parts manuals and uh, the assemblies. And what I discovered was that this uh, washer, this, ex this washer that was on here, does not go in this assembly at all. It's not part of this assembly. So you know somebody had the wheel off I don't know why uh, I don't know if the bike ships from the factory with the front wheel off and the, uh, sometimes they do that to get the bike lower in the crate and but I don't know how this wound up in this you can tell by looking this is not a new this thing's all dirty and tarnished this is not a new part so why it wound up on here 
You know, that's probably going to be a mystery forever. I'm sure the dealer is not going to tell me anything. But anyhow, that doesn't go with it. Uh, er everything here is correct. Um, this is how the this is how the assembly goes in. Uh, every piece. I checked all the part numbers against earlier model FJRs that even the ones that weren't uh, didn't have the inverted forks that just had the standard fork legs all these parts are the same they've been the same for through all the generations so you know I don't know what happened uh, I did find uh, one of these bearings I could feel a notch when I would turn the the bearing the sleeve and the bearings and one of these has got a notch in it it's this one um, they're new you can see the new grease coming through the seals on them but there's a certain place in this one and i can feel a notch in it so i went ahead and just ordered two new bearings uh, they'll be here it'll take a probably you know week and a half or so before i get them so the front wheel will just have to uh to wait for the bearings and we'll go on with the project and get everything else done then we'll be ready to go when the bearings get here to put the front wheel back on it Well, we got the uh, left side fairing off. Uh, got to where we, we can get to these hoses and stuff. So I'm just going to go down through here and check all these hose clamps. Make sure they're tight. I don't see any leaks. Just make sure these are snug. You don't want to go crazy on them or you'll end up breaking a clamp, destroying a clamp, having to replace it. We'll check all of these and then uh, move over to the other side. There's some more hoses over there that need to be checked. We got our fairing off on the other side here on the right side. Check the clamps on these hoses. Kind of look in here and see if there's anything we need to pay attention to. I don't see anything. Everything looks pretty good. Right, well, we checked all the hoses, everything uh, underneath the fairings on the engine. Everything was pretty snug. There wasn't anything loose, no leaks. It all looks brand new like it should. So I think now while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and uh, raise this tank up and then we'll uh, check the throttle body sink. And uh, if everything looks good there, check the plugs, see how they look. Uh, I think we'll be all right and get that front wheel back together and we should be ready to go. Still got to change the, diff or the fluid in the rear differential, but we'll get that. So uh, let's see how the throttle body sink. I think it's going to be fine. The motor is smooth as silk. So I don't think the throttle bodies are out of sync, but we'll check it while we're here. We got our spark plugs out. Got our tank up and top of the motor exposed. These are looking pretty good. They're all burning nice and clean like they should. Gaps are all about 30 thousandths or so, about the same. I think we're good on the spark plug front. We'll check the throttle body synchronization next, and if that all looks good, why we can put all this back together. All right, we're about to get set up here to check out this uh, throttle body synchronization. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I've got this gauge set that I use, and I've never checked the synchronization on the gauge to make sure it's in calibration. So today what I've done is I've ran all, the, all four lines and teed them together so that I've got one line feeding all four lines here on my gauge and I'm going to just verify that all my my four uh, gauges here are all in agreement with one another it'd be a bummer to spend a bunch of time uh, sinking your carbs and then find out that your gauge isn't, isn't calibrated so we'll fire it up here and see if we got a if all of our uh, our four gauges agree with one another well, they look pretty close to me. They look like they're pretty well in sync with each other, close enough for the girls I date. So we'll go ahead and hook up on all our ports now and see how our uh, throttle bodies are synced to each other. Have a look at that. Well, here's a look at our gauges here. As I suspected, they're really close. I'm not even going to mess with them. Uh, 
I don't think I can get them any closer than that. So that's cool. We're in good shape on the throttle body sink. If you're interested in uh, doing a throttle body sink, I've got a video up. You can, I'll put the link in the uh, description below. It's a full video just on uh, throttle body synchronization on the FJR. This one looks good, so we're going to button her back up. This could take a while. Well, we got everything put back together on the FJR here. Took a little bit, but got the skins back on it. The throttle bodies looked real good. They were in sync. Uh, we're pretty much ready to go here. I've got the differential oil drained, and uh, I'm going to let it drip for a day or two, and then I'll fill it back up. And we're just waiting on a pair of wheel bearings, but that's no big deal. We'll put them in, and we'll be ready to go out west. So I appreciate you all hanging with me today and uh, checking out a little prep work on the FJR, looking at some problems. I invite you all to come back. We'll do something else. We'll go somewhere. Till I see you guys again, y'all take care.